are from small island nations. Eh? And for us, climate change is a, is a major threat at this time. And uh, I think going into the future, it is something that we uh, have to be on our toes about. And it's something that we are very concerned with for the future generation. And uh, in answering our question, uh, we came into this uh, conference with the Montreal Protocol here in Port Galib with the hope that uh, eventually the uh, Montreal Protocol would look into the, uh, the uh, consider the control of HFCs under the, uh, the protocol. Uh, at the moment it isn't and it is something that we are trying to get through. We feel that uh, our effort to get this thing through is justified. It's uh, for us not a question of uh, it's not a question of, um, uh, it's the impression I get at the conference is perhaps that uh, this is uh, a distraction from uh, the aims of the Montreal Protocol. But I think whether you are talking Montreal Protocol or you're talking the Kyoto Protocol, it still has to do with the environment. And we are concerned because the environment is changing. It is related to the Montreal Protocol and we feel that the Montreal Protocol should take action in this area. This is our expectations. As we have uh, made quite clear in our statements, that uh, reducing ozone uh, depleting substances will not be possible in the small island nations without support. And that's, that is why we are asking the multinational, multinational fund to assist in establishing a laboratory in the Pacific, somewhere central where we can all have access to the, uh, to the laboratory and also have training facilities uh, we are looking for technical advice, financial assistance, and, and training. If that would be possible, it would help a great deal for us out in the Pacific.